I mean, I think a lot of us believe that abortion, for example, is a complex moral issue. And we may not want to have an abortion ourselves, but would we'll never get in the way of somebody else making this deeply personal medical decision for themselves. Or maybe we're even uncomfortable about abortion, but would we'll not want women to die because they don't have access to safe legal abortion either. So I think that to move the conversation forward, I hope that we can begin with these points of agreement and understand and accept the nuances and complexities while emphasizing what we all know to be true, that healthcare has to be a human right guaranteed for all and not just a privilege available only to some. Um, our bodies are incredibly different. We cannot be looked at in the same way for heart disease, for cancer, for any of our health conditions, honestly. Um, but because of our reproductive systems, we are more susceptible to a lot of things. Um, and so it really is important that we are looking at human beings equally. This is really a, this is really a gender equality issue at the end of the day. Um, and there isn't enough research in part because it's difficult to study pregnant people. Um, there's a lot of work now focusing on the study of the placenta because a lot of the complications and causes of death are related to the placenta. Mine was. Um, and we don't know enough. And so it's one of those areas that I think is really lacking um, and could use a lot of funding. In this day and age, the act of giving birth is still the most dangerous thing a woman can go through. Mm -hmm. And it need not be like that. And, and the reason why women die during pregnancy or childbirth, mostly preventable. And so the, 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 the analogy that comes to my mind is the 24 hours around the birth, that if that is a day, so that's one day. Most mothers, most women give us 364 days of the year. All they say is that give us that one day, protect us when we are vulnerable and we look away. And that has been going on again since the birth of civilization. That, that act of giving birth is dangerous and unless you're there, and the irony is it's all, most of them are preventable, those, those deaths are preventable. So one of, the, one of the reasons why we feel optimistic going forward is the power of data, data science.